there, run away! I can't get my mom and my sister! No, no, no! Who would you say is in there? My mom and my sister! Give me a paramedic over here! We got two people inside! You stay here. Do not move! <laughs> Billy, it's time. Attention, visiting. Visiting will end Val Johnson, three E's, coming through with Billy Calhoun. Be happier on the outside. There's only one thing that's going to make me happy. Billy. Let's go. The girls took up a collection. It's about a hundred dollars. Steady, girls, steady. You're almost at the finish line. This girl, Billy Calhoun, knowingly and willingly created a catastrophic disaster against the two people in the world who loved her most. She poured lamp oil on her mother and her baby sister, and then she lit the torch. Her fingerprints are on the lamp. Her fingerprints only. There were no witnesses. No one saw this alleged burned man. He was there. I saw him. No one saw this man, not even Leon Sykes, the fireman who saved her. And no one had a motive except this disturbed child. What was the motive? Jealousy. Pure jealousy. I didn't do it. I didn't do it. Sit down. Tell him I didn't do it. There was a man there. Billy Calhoun will be remanded to the Eastfield Juvenile Facility until she reaches 21 years of age. Bailiff. Don't you know smoking kills your sex drive? That's why I do it. Hey, Billy. Oh, they're going to release you. You're coming home. I don't have a home anymore. Sure you do. With me. I'm your appointed guardian, remember? You gonna make a nun out of me? <laughs> Heaven forbid. Come on, Billy. The review board's ready for you upstairs. Don't worry. I'll be there with you. You're gonna start over again, Billy. I'll help you. 
Come on, let's go. Now look, I know this is just a formality, but you gotta button that blouse. Take off some of that lipstick. The bleached hair is a mess. Don't you have a brush? Billy Calhoun. Do you still maintain that you did not kill your mother and sister? That you're innocent of any wrongdoing? Of course I do. After eight years of therapy, still no remorse. Does the inmate continue to pose a threat to society? And you've read my report. Rehabilitation has been a complete failure in the case of Billy Calhoun. And she remains dangerous and a threat to society. We have had this discussion. Don't make this harder than it is. Billy Calhoun. It is the decision of the state and this review board that you are incorrigible. What? What's that mean? You don't mean you're going to keep her. According to the laws of this state, you will hereby be returned to the Eastville State Facility for further rehabilitation. Your early release is hereby denied. No. No, you can't. Father, sit down or I'll have you forcibly removed. You did this to me. Billy, you are going back. No, accept it. No. No way. Now, with good behavior, you could be released you to me. You told me you were released. Billy, you doing does not do help you. Who told you to do this? Why did they do this? Why are they doing this? Who told them to do this? Why did you do this? God help you. God help us all. We had no choice. You know this isn't right. Val, I didn't kill my mother. I can't go back there. I've got to find the truth. I know. Hold on! You sure you're all right? Dispatch of this is Corrections Officer Johnson. I just had an accident at, at 4th and Garland. My prisoner, Billy Calhoun, has escaped. The prisoner was last seen heading west on Garland. Oh. This is Patrol 23 in foot pursuit of escaped prisoner turning west onto Crawford from Magnolia. Over. Downtown units, be advised we have an escaped prisoner on foot. Billy Calhoun, a Caucasian female, 18 years of age, 5 feet 4 inches tall, approximately 105 pounds, blue eyes, blonde hair. Prisoner was last seen heading west on Crop. Over. Uh, Roger, this back, 63 copy. Uh, Roger, this is 16. Uh, copy. Hey, 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 hey. Roger, Roger. Hey, 63 heading south on Longtree.
Oh, excuse me. Uh... Hello? Look, Paul. It's me, Billy. I'm sorry. I had to do it. I couldn't go back there. Don't be mad at me. Say something. No, of course not, sister. Uh, it's not that. Uh, I'll be happy to discuss it with you later. Could you call back, uh, say, in a couple of hours? All right. Fine. <sighs> Sorry. Sister Catherine gets hysterical. <laughs> oh, I'll get you some more. No, let me get that. No, no, Matt. Uh, make Lieutenant Levine at home. <laughs> hey, look, Matt. I know Father Paul raised you, but this is police work, so you act like you're on homicide and not back at the orphanage, okay? Mm-hmm. Yeah, you are. Thanks. Father Paul, I know how close you were to Billy Calhoun and, uh... Look, Father, we want Billy Calhoun. We want to know you're going to do everything you can to cooperate and bring in. That girl has lost everything. Her family, her home, her childhood. Why is it never enough? You're asking for mercy. This girl just escaped from prison. I haven't seen her. Well, if you hear anything, anything at all, let us know. Of course. Thank you. Thanks. The graves are on. Made 20 on Braves last night. Oh, yeah? Ricky, uh, come to Mass on Sunday. <laughs> you know I'm Jewish. So is Jesus. Bring him, Matt. I'll do. And bring that 20 bucks. <laughs> catastrophic disaster against the two people in the world who loved her most. She poured lamp oil on her mother and her baby sister, and then she lit the torch. Her fingerprints are on the lamp, her fingerprints on it. There were no witnesses. No one saw this alleged burned man. He was there. I saw it. Billy boy, girl. Happy birthday. Let's see, say happy birthday, sister. Honey, I'm sorry I didn't get to your school today. I meant to bring cupcakes. Doesn't matter. I made a cake, but I threw it out. 
blow out the candles first next time. <laughs> Come and look, see what I got you. It's for me? Of course, happy birthday. How did you pay for all this? Don't you want to know what the key's for? secret place. What are you talking about? The secret place is just a story that you made up. It's real. And the Willows is a real place, too. You know, when I'm gone sometimes during the day, I go and meet Betsy's daddy there. He loves your sister, and he's gonna love you, too. I hate him. Oh, honey, how can you say that? You haven't even met him. Because he always makes you cry. Not anymore. Because you're going to have a daddy. A very powerful daddy. But, Mama, who is it? You'll meet him real soon. And we're all going to live together. Be a real family. Isn't that right? You. Isn't that right? Oh! <laughs> Promised. You promised you would tell her tonight. You've got to, or I will. We've been seeing each other for years. Your wife has to know about us. I can't go on like this. I won't. Paul? Billy, are you all right? Yeah, I'm okay, but I, I can't stay out here long. I need to see you. I hate to get you involved. Billy, I'm more involved than you know. I couldn't tell you, and you may hate me when you find out. What are you talking about? Meet me in the sanctuary after 11. I'll explain everything. Knock twice and I'll let you in. Everything's gonna be all right, Billy. All right, bye. I have kept my vows by letting Billy Calhoun take the blame for your crime. But it's over now. I'll stand with you as I always have. But I have to tell Billy the truth. Still making deals, Father? Father Paul?
Mike. So what'd you get? We're checking some people on the street to see if they found anything for us. Okay. Jazz, I want a full report by sunrise, okay? I don't remember assigning you this case. Don't pull protocol on me now, Ricky. Come here. I cannot give you this case. You're too inexperienced and you're too involved. It's too personal. It is personal. He was like a father to me. And he took care of me. Save my life. I want this case. Drink a lot of coffee, Jazz. Detective Samony wants everything you got by tomorrow. He's for, it's for the secret place. It's real. And the Willows is a real place too. It's real. of a place called the Willows. That's the afternoon tour. Come back at one o'clock. So you know the Willows? Of course. Well, here you go. One o'clock. Do you want to book it? Yeah. Visiting will end in 15 minutes. Did Billy Calhoun ever mention Father Paul? Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Every other breath. She couldn't wait to get out and go sail with him. In an almost obsessive way, wouldn't you say, Trina? Oh, yes, ma'am. Very obsessive. Can I go now? Sure. Thank you, Trina. Come on. That's the last girl, Detective. Mm -hmm. I hope we've helped. You yeah, have. Thank you. By the way, uh, Billy Calhoun was set to be released. What changed the release board's mind? I did. I've known and treated Billy Calhoun for eight years. She's a sociopath detective. Billy Calhoun likes to hurt people, especially those closest to her. You of all people should understand what she's capable of. Yeah. Thank you. you like what's gone down. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm talking about Billy Calhoun's escape. Where it is, you didn't try to stop her. Maybe you even helped her. That's right. We're talking about aiding and abetting. Maybe an accessory to murder. Look, Billy Calhoun didn't kill nobody. Look behind the scenes, man. Somebody wanted her put away. The phone calls were flying. Dr. Wilson's jumping like water on a hot skillet. I mean, next thing I know, Billy Calhoun's gonna be sent back. 
and I'm supposed to keep my mouth shut about everything. And you're the cop. You figure it out. Okay, folks, here we are. The last stop on our tour is the Willows. The original plantation house was built by the famous Confederate General Beauregard in 1850. Unfortunately, the house was destroyed by fire in 1920. This magnificent Italian-style manor house that you're looking at now was built in its place. Thanks for joining us this afternoon on East Hill. Excuse us, boys. Matt, I've just had a phone call from the superintendent of the juvenile correctional facility telling me that a Detective Samony got a court order to release his phone records. Please tell me he was mistaken. No. No what? He wasn't mistaken. Why didn't you check with me first? I got a tip that I should check the phone calls the day that Billy Calhoun's parole was revoked. But you know the phone company subpoenas go through me. Look, I'm sorry. I just had a hunch there was something there. Now, just listen for a minute. I just found six calls made to this guy named Jack Devereaux the week before Billy Calhoun escaped. And three were made the same day she took off. Jack Devereaux is not a suspect in this case. What, are you crazy? This is one of the most important men in this state. Has his fingers in everything. The governor's best friend, for God's sake. Now, you're way off here, Matt. And this is potentially a big screw-up. You hear me? Stay away from Jack Devereaux. Just concentrate on finding that damn girl. Am I making myself clear?
I told you a hundred times already. I called him from the phone booth. If you're gonna arrest me, arrest me, but you cannot hold me here like this. I have rights. So Father Paul said to knock twice. Then what? So I went, knock, knock, and then he said, who's there? And right. then I said, shut up! <laughs> don't mess with me, little girl. I just as soon kill you as lucky. Then why don't you? Because I have questions. And I want you to answer them now. Why were you at the Devereux house? Who are the Devereaux? You were there. You must know them. I don't. I don't. I want. I wanted to see the Willows. My mother used to talk about it when I was little. I thought she made it up like a bedtime story. Never met Jack Devereux. Not unless he's that cook back at Eastfield. Come on. How would I know a guy who lived in a house like that? Could I have some water or something? Please. Please. Could you uncuff me? I can't feel my fingers. I'd like to drink for myself. I've been tied up for hours. Turn. Please. Turn around. my mother or my sister. I loved him. He was all I had in the world. He was my father. I loved him. All right? Billy, just put the gun down. No! No! If I put the gun down, it's over. You take me in, and then I will never find out who killed my mother or my sister or Father Paul. Just, just calm down, okay? Just calm down. He must have known who killed my mother. That's probably what he wanted to tell me, so they killed him. Just, just listen to me, okay? Do you know why I was at Devereaux's? Because Jack Devereaux somehow tied in with all of this. I can't make a connection unless... unless he gave me the gun. Okay? Why should I trust you? Please, don't take me in. I won't take you in. Until I question Jack Devereaux. Why would you do that? Because I'm one of Father Paul's kids, too. Guilty, I could have run away when I had the chance, or I could have shot you right there. I knew you wouldn't take me in. What are you doing? What is this? You can't leave me here. What are you doing? Now you sit here and be quiet, okay? Jerk.
Hello. Hi. I'm Detective Matt Samini. Oh. Am I under arrest? Not yet, but this bird looks suspicious. <laughs> Honey, it's tea time. Come on. Percy can wait. Thank you. <laughs> Let me open this for you. Well, thank you. That was my son, Clay. Now you stay put, okay? I'll bring out the tea things, and you'll help me bury poor Percy. I'll be right back. Just live for iced tea in the summer, don't you? Yes, ma'am. Oh, Pooh, you'll ruin everything. No, I won't. I'm headed back to town shortly. Jack Devereaux, I see Laney's already got you doing chores. You defy her, that's the only way. <laughs> I don't mind, really. I'm Detective Matt Samini. I'm here about the prowler last night. We didn't report a prowler last night. Well, the alarm company did. Actually, the alarm did go off, but it was probably just the dogs. Good Lord, Lanny, what are you doing with this old dead feather duster? You gonna cook up a dinner? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm going to go give poor Percy a proper burial. Nice to meet you, Detective. Let's get some air. I'm sorry you came all the way out here to no purpose. That's okay, I don't mind. You know, Mr. Devereaux, I always uh, admired you. Really? Why is that? Well, the way he supported all the local boys' clubs, uh, all the charities. Well, it's a pleasure to meet you. Oh, by the way, do you also support the Eastfield Juvenile Rehab Program? I don't think so. Do you know a Dr. Wilson out there? No, I don't. Billy Calhoun? She's the girl suspected of killing the, the priest. Well, I'm afraid not. It's tragic. I hope they find her. Me too. Well, thank you again so much. Hi. You must be burning up in there. Um, in a minute, I'm going to turn over and toast the other side. Why don't you come out? You can wait in the shade. Uh, I'm Clay Devereaux. Dr. Clay Devereaux. I say that to impress you. Uh, oh, um, my name is, is Summer. Detective Samini's cousin. Hi. Hi. Clay Devereaux. And Sammy, nice to meet you. You too. You know what? We have to go. Oh, okay. do you want me to drive? Sure, sure. Okay. Bye. It was, it was very nice meeting nice you. Nice to meet you, too. Brief, <laughs> but extremely okay. pleasant. Can I have the keys? What did you find out about Devereaux? He's a charming guy who contributes to all our charities. Nothing? No, there has to be something. Pull over. You can't take me in. Doing here? 
I let him work, you get too tired, you get stupid. When you get stupid, you get dead. Is that why you brought me here? You brought me here to take a nap. That's exactly what we're gonna do. You know more than you're telling me, otherwise you'd have me in jail by now. It's something about Devereaux, isn't it? You know something, don't you? All I know is that I'm dead dog tired. Come on. I'm looking for a man named Sykes, the retired fireman who lives near the lake. Yeah, about a half mile down on the right. Take a right down there. Sykes, what's the What are you doing in my house? Mr. Sykes? Do I know you? You wouldn't recognize me. I look different now. Nothing's biting on these salmon eggs. I'm gonna try a little Limburger cheese. It smells like hell, but attracts the fish. I knew you'd come someday. You know me. I see your face every day. What happened? Chemical fire, wrath of God. Accident on the job and all of the above. I want to. I want to know about the other man, the one who took me out of the fire, the one with the burned arms. I can't tell you what you want to know. You've got to. That was the man who set the fire. You can tell me. There are no cops here. We're not in a courtroom. The truth's not always that easy. I grew up in a prison. That wasn't easy. I just want to hear you say his name. I can't tell you. I have a family. It was Jack Devereaux. Jack Devereaux. You have to tell the police. He's 
dead, isn't he? Yeah, listen, I gotta call this one in, okay? No, no, I gotta get out of here. Don't you see? Everywhere I go, somebody dies. He's setting me up. Okay, you go to my place and don't talk to anybody. Now go! Go! Billy. Billy, you okay? Billy. Oh my God. Exhausted. I just got too hot in there, that's all. Drink it. Coco. Just rest. You're not alone anymore. Hey, 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 it's okay. It's me, Matt. Hey. It was Jack Devereaux. Sykes told me. Jack Devereaux was my mother's lover. Betsy was his baby. He told her that... that we were going to be a family. We were going to have a home. And she was so happy. You promised your mother that he was going to leave his wife? He lied. He didn't want anyone to know about my mother or the baby. He made sure of that. He had it all figured out. As long as you took the rap, nobody would be looking for him. 
I want him to suffer. Not because I have. Not even because he killed them. But because the last thing I heard my mother do was cry. He made her cry. And you don't understand. When I look at you, I see me. I, I can't. I can't be with you. Not until I, we. I, Billy? Billy? Where is she? All right, now don't go hitting anybody over the head with it, all right? All right. See you out in the waiting room. I want answers, Matt. I want them now. Where is she? Telling you the truth, I don't know. You're smart enough to find her and then dumb enough not to bring her in? What are you doing, sleeping with her? What happened to Sachs? Some girl is seen nosing around the area, your car is spotted, with a girl that matches that same description. She just happens to be asking directions to Sykes' house? Sykes just happens to end up dead? What the hell's going on? She didn't do it. You're harboring a fugitive. I should throw you in the can. Where is she? She was there, wasn't she? It's Sykes. Yeah, that's how I know it wasn't her. I'm taking you off the case. Listen to me, Ricky. Sykes admitted he lied. That the man at the fire was Jack Deverell. You heard him say that? No, you didn't. Give me a badge. Look, Deverell was having an affair with Billy's mother. He just got out of hand. Give me your badge now. You know, Jack Deverell is a dirty man. And all you want to do is his laundry. Stay away from Deverell. Big guys like Devereaux don't scare me. There used to be a time when they didn't scare you either. This isn't about big guys. No, this is about a little girl. A little 10-year-old girl taking a rap for a big, rich, powerful man. But I got leads, Ricky. I'm going to follow them, no matter how much trouble it gets me into. It used to be called good police work. Matt.
All right, this conversation never happened. You got 24 hours. You don't find anything concrete by then, and I mean rock hard, stone cold concrete. Then we're both gonna have to turn our badges in. I've never seen anything like this before. Well, this is where I grew up. You don't eat at this table, do you? Yeah, occasionally. <laughs> I can't believe you waited all day for me. You work hard. I watched you. You were good with those kids. Thanks. I'm really glad that you uh, decided to stop by. Oh, what a beautiful pool. This is incredible. Yeah, it's OK. <laughs> um, you can go ahead and change in the pool house if you want. Into what? Into any color or size of swimsuit available. My son is always prepared, aren't you, darling? <laughs> yes, you, you make me sound like a Boy Scout. Anything but. Hello, I'm Clay's mother, Lane. I'm Summer Salmony. Salmony. Why don't you go ahead on in there and get changed? And uh, call her when you're ready. Hey, you. Hey. So how did you meet her? It's a long story. Well, she's not. She's, she's not one of us, but she's very nice. Don't worry, pal. Oh, you pricked your finger on one of the roses. Yes, I did. You should get a Band-Aid. Just give me something, Jazz. Look, I can't give you Jack Devereaux if that's what you want. I mean, Matt, everybody thinks you've gone off the deep end. You got the girl's prints all over the murder weapon. Man, what more do you want? Just do it again. Why? Maybe you missed something. I know there was somebody else there. Just do it for me. All right. I'll go over it again, and uh, I'll call you if I find anything. All right. Thanks. Where's your mother? In the house. Is your father home? You're not one of those girls who's really interested in my father, are you? No, of course not. I don't even know him. Oh, everybody knows him. But nobody knows him like me. I'd like to meet him. <laughs> I don't think so. Thanks. <laughs> What's wrong? Nothing. Am I doing something? No. You're a strange girl, Summer. Oh, man. I'm sorry, Summer. They called me, and I got to get you home. Well, I could wait here for you. Yeah, wait here for me. That, that, that's a great idea. OK. Um, just make yourself at home.
Get in. What were you going to do, shoot him? I tried. I couldn't make it work. Where are the shells? Now, you listen to me. I can keep you safe, but not from yourself. His arms are burned. He is the man. I know. That doesn't give you the right to shoot him. He killed my family. I can finally prove it, and you don't care. You think I don't care? That you're the only one who lost someone? I just don't want to lose you, too. Moloch, it's gone. What? It's gone. Look into the circumstances surrounding Jack Devereaux's burns. Just find out when and where he was treated. That's all I'm asking. Where's the girl, man? I told you 24 hours. It's up. Now bring her in. I'll bring her in. If the, if the burns don't check out, I'll bring her in. No questions, no compromises. Good enough? No. That's not good enough. As of right now, you are under suspension. I'm gonna find you. And when I do, I'm not only gonna nail Billy Calhoun, I'm gonna nail your butt, too. Get blood samples from the killer. And I'm willing to bet they're Jack Devereaux's. Will that be enough? Yeah. You sure? It's a hell of a start. Bad on the burns. Now, you stay put. Lock the door behind me, okay? I'll be here, I promise. Okay. Lock the door. All right. The door. Summer, what happened last night? I'm sorry. I, I just felt uncomfortable. <laughs> um, Clay, did you by any chance find anything by the pool? I thought I left. Yeah, I, I found your necklace. <sighs> Billy, I have to see you. I know who you are. Do you remember last night when I told you that I hated my father? Are you willing to tell the truth? I want to. It's just that I've kept this secret for so long. Billy, I have to show you Little Willows. I have to see you now. OK? Tell me where you are. All right. Let me down. And give me your gun and badge. 
Why, Jazz? I told you the blood samples didn't match Billy Calhoun. But they didn't match Jack Devereaux either. Jack Devereaux didn't kill Father Paul. Let's go. Father bought this ten years ago for your mother. It's where they used to meet. Welcome to Little Willows. I wonder where they had this taken. I think that was Memphis. Or New Orleans, I forget. Dad took so many business trips. Of course, after he bought this place, he didn't travel quite as much. Mom was thrilled until she realized she was seeing him less than ever. How do you know all this? I'm telling you, it's him, Ricky. At least question Dever about the burns. The burns could place him at the crime scene. Shut up. Well, arrest me. Otherwise, you can find me over at Devereaux's. Hey, Levine, hold on. You wait right here. Yeah. Devereaux was treated for burns yeah. April 28th, 1987. OK, I got it. What? I go with you. Well, what is it? Laney, darling, why don't you go on outside and cut yourself some flowers, make a nice bouquet? No, Jeff. I don't believe I'm going to miss this. Gentlemen, come on in. Thank you. Can I help you? Yes, sir. I'm Lieutenant Levine. This is Detective Matt Salmony. I believe we have met young Matt. We have information that says you received and were treated for second and third degree burns on your arms, hands, and chests on April 28th, 1987. Well, that's right, in a boating accident. Wrong. I think you burned your arms at the fire you set on 10th Street on that day. The fire that killed Jean Calhoun and her baby. Gentlemen, would you step inside here? I don't want to discuss this in front of my wife. Well, Mr. Devereaux, there's a good chance you may be discussing this in front of the grand jury. We know that Jean Calhoun was your lover. And that she was going to tell your wife about the affair. So you torched the house. Eight years ago, I tried to leave Laney, but I couldn't. I knew it would destroy her and Clay. Go ahead and look. Right, right there. You mean, you snuck in this house, you went in the closet, and you spied on them? Yeah. It was a real education. Jean told her I couldn't marry her. She was devastated. She, she cried. So after Laney went to sleep, I went to Jean's. It 
it's too late. Too late? The place was on fire. I couldn't save her or the baby. I heard her screaming. By the time I got inside, there's nothing I could do. I tried to get her out. It was an inferno. I tried to beat it out, but I couldn't. I couldn't. She killed my baby. My sweet baby. And Jean. I loved him and she killed him. Who? Billy. I saw to it Billy Calhoun never hurt anyone again. It was easy. She didn't do it. What are you talking about? I saw her there with the empty oil lamp. She was 10 years old. She hated me and she was jealous and she killed him. That's not true, Jack. I started that fire. I want you to tell me everything you know. Well, I know you should have killed my father when you had the chance. I saw you out by the pool. Man, you were incredible the way you hauled out that big old gun and fired away. But you needed these. You're, uh... You're very passionate, Billy. Just like your mother. So after I set the fire, I couldn't live with it. So I confessed to Father Paul. And then I realized that he would be telling Billy Calhoun, so... I... Miss Devereaux... I've explained to you, you can't have a lawyer. I don't want a lawyer. Uh, I would like a glass of water. All right. Matt. Dressed her in silk. It's beautiful, don't you think? Craig, none of this is our business anymore, so I'm just gonna leave. You wanna leave? I don't think so. I thought you wanted to know the truth. What's the truth? The truth is, your mother was a worthless piece of trash who tried to take away everything in the world that mattered to me. She made my mother beg my father not to leave her. She made my mother cheap. So I killed her. I don't think so. No, no. let me go. I don't think so. Let me go. What are you doing? What are you doing? Put me down. Looks like you can bring Billy out of hiding now. Go on, go get her. <laughs> What's wrong? You upset because you had the wrong murderer? That it wasn't Jack Devereaux after all? I don't think it was her either. Why not? Well, Jack said Delaney was asleep when he went to their Calhouns. And the house was already on fire. So how did Delaney get there before Jack?
You always wanted to know everything. Well, this was how I did it. No! Levine, he's got her. Clay, the kid. Just get in touch with Devil and find out where little Willows is and call me back, okay? You understand that I can't let you go. And, uh, I'm sorry. No, you're not. Please. Clay. Clay, I can help you. I can help you. Will you let me? You're a lying bitch, just like your mother. <laughs> Millie, are you in there? Are you all right? He's gonna set fire to the place! Matt! Open the door! You should have listened to her. Matt, be careful! Matt! Where's my son? Where is he? He's not in there. You all right? Clay! 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 You all right? Let me go. No. My son's in there! There's nothing we can do now. Clay! What have I done? It's over, Billy. Really. It's over. Matt, it'll never be over. You didn't leave me this time. It's a start. <laughs>